I just wanted to sit down and really moan about uh, the BBC's early morning television programming, uh, including that of BBC Breakfast, probably the worst um, news uh, source that this land has ever seen, though unfortunately it seems to be the only source of news broadcasting that this country ever sees. Um, it is the most propaganda-filled period of television that you can ever get is early morning on the BBC, BBC One especially, BBC Two to an extent. I just wanted to point out first and foremost a variety of programming that all seems to sit in a similar type of genre and this is the type of program like The Sheriffs Are Coming, Claimed and Shamed, Saints and Scroungers, Don't Get Done Get Dom, all those Dom Little Wood shows, and Rogue Traders. Now, what all these programs share in common is telling you, or more showing you, fear-mongering you, as to what will happen to you if you don't pay your bills properly, if you dare to take any benefits out, if you uh, were to commit insurance fraud. Of course, committing insurance fraud is bad. Of course, claiming benefits when you are not entitled to them is bad. However, I have never seen this amount of programming before of this type telling the viewer what will happen to them if they do not comply. I've not seen this type of programming before. I mean, I'm not very old. But I can remember only, you know, a couple of years back, maybe, you know, four years ago, five years ago, before this shitstorm that was the global financial meltdown. I remember that period of time. And early morning television is a bit of a blur, you know, but definitely they did not have this type of programming on. In fact, they had type of programming which told you or more or less suggested to you how is best to spend your money. Whereas now when we're scraping the barrel for a couple of quid, uh, we're being told if you don't pay your bills, uh, some meathead thugs in a Ford tranny van are going to come and they're going to get everything out of your yard. These programs are very good at telling you everything that these people, these government agencies, etc., will do to you, that they will do to you. They never show uh, them failing in, you know, repossessing property. These shows never, you know, show, I mean, police shows are a, are a great example. Police shows, uh, traffic cops, police camera action, road wars. These are a classic example of organizations, government departments, the police, the uh, tax office, showing to the viewer only what they want to be seen. When was the last time you ever watched Traffic Cops and someone got away? You know, the bad guy got away. It doesn't happen, does it? They always show the police capturing the criminal and throwing them in jail and they got this sort of sentence and blah, 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 blah. They always show them in a positive light. And that's simply how the program is uh, created. The BBC or ITV or Channel 5, you know, police interceptors, they will, you know, contact their local police constabulary and say, hey, we want to make a program about your police force. And the police force will say, yeah, great, but, you know, it'll be on our terms. Of course, the police service don't want to be seen as bad in any way. I'm not saying that they necessarily are, but that's another topic. My point to all this is you are shown what government departments want you to see. You're not seeing these consumer programs like, well, ironically enough, like Road Traders. This is another point. Uh, Dan Petito, I think that's his name, or how you pronounce his name, uh, the BBC Watchdog and Rogue Traders presenter, I believe he was from Brazil, um, the guy who used to go around, um, you know, trying to um, uh, interview, I guess, if, you know, confrontational kind of um, tactics, um, like just springing up out of a car and expecting someone to give an answer, if that's an interview, well, not really. Uh, anyway, yeah, Dan Petito was last year in 2012 convicted and charged of benefit 
and I believe it was council tax fraud as well. This is very ironic from a presenter who, um, you know, likes to shame, name and shame and, you know, show these rogue traders um, their true colours. Well, it's kind of ironic now that that presenter has shown his true colours and has served, I believe, 12, 24 weeks in jail. The point to this is the amount of propaganda that the BBC shows. Not just the BBC, but other channels show as well. My final point is Syria. And this is just a point that really stuck into my brain when I first saw it. Before that, that period when it was, will we, won't we go to war with Syria? You know, will we not deploy troops to Syria? And there was the vote in Parliament. In the run-up to that vote in Parliament, there was extensive coverage pushing this war, this conflict in Syria. There are hundreds of conflicts around the world, but we don't get involved in every single one, thank God. In the run-up to that vote, however, there was extensive extensive near 24 hour coverage of Syria every tiny development that happened they deployed all of the uh, current affairs correspondents the war correspondents Jeremy Bowen John Simpson the lot I respect their journalism and I think they're brilliant journalists but merely the fact that they were deployed to this region in the run-up to this debate was not a coincidence of course people have the right to know, well, if this is going to go through Parliament and this is going to be voted upon, surely we should have some education on it. You know, what the hell's going on in Syria and why should we care? Um, however, the mere fact that everyone wanted to go to war is kind of a bit sickening. The BBC will, you know, they will they were rubbing their hands, they were like, yes, we're going to finally get, you know, a conflict where we can get the cameras real close up on the action we can really get in there and all this it was clear to me that they really wanted um to go to to go to war the bbc wanted to go to war uh, or more the government wanted to go to war and it's clear you know the war machine as it's constantly been referred to um chunky mark the artist ta uh, artist taxi driver talks about this a lot you know the war machine corporations etc how good would a war a foreign war on foreign soil be um for our economy the point is the coverage ended pretty much a full stop end as soon as the vote went through and it was you know we're not going to war in syria that that's it the coverage on the BBC, coverage on ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, all the main UK broadcasters ceased. Nothing. You hear nothing about Syria now on the BBC. You hear bear nothing on ITV, bear nothing on Channel 4, bear nothing on Channel 5. Isn't it something a little bit noticeable when that happens? Let's all think.